Hello there, Capricorn. Welcome. This is going to be a love reading for December 2022. This will be your side. This will be your person's side that you're thinking about. Right in the middle, we'll have the combined energies. Okay, so first off, how you feel about them. Let's see what we get for you guys. How do you feel about them? Wow. You're holding on to this connection. I can feel this very strongly. The, you know, it seems like you have a lot of passion for them. And you also want to nurture this connection. Because you feel a very strong connection to them. There might be a past life connection. It could be one past life. It could be many past lives. But you actually have a lot of passion, a lot of desire for them. And you want to nurture this connection. Okay. Let's get a charm on the Queen of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have here. What is this? Is this a bat? Oh, we have a bat. I don't think I've seen that bat before. Do I know you? I don't think I ever met you. This is a different bat. Hello, bat. Okay, so, um, yeah, this could be something you're, you're trusting your vibes. That's why I think of a bat. You know how a bat screeches out and then and the echoing and then and they go by the vibration. You're trusting your vibes. And this queen of wands is looking over at this other side here, too. But I think you're trusting what you're feeling here. And you can't deny it. It's a strong chemistry. Okay, now let's see. What about the Queen of Pentacles we have here? Ooh, Pegasus. So there's going to be good news coming in. And whenever Pegasus comes in, it's something good news. It could be good news about your your wealth because of this Pentacles. You also could be, um... You also could feel maybe they're focused on their, um... Their money right now. They might be, um... Because this Queen of Pentacles is looking down at the money here. But this is good news coming in no matter what. It's health, wealth, love. Something good is coming in. Okay, let's get a Queen of Pentacles. And of course, there's very strong energy from the past here. So let's clarify now. Why do we have the Queen of Pentacles here? Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? I mean, not Queen of Pentacles. I want to do the Queen of Wands. And we have the Queen of Wands. Sorry, the first one's Queen of Wands. So it's confirmation on the Queen of Wands. So, um, double Queen of Wands here. Very strong desire here. Yeah. Okay, let's get a little charm. Ooh, an arrow of love. Okay, yeah, there's definitely a strong, strong connection. Okay, what about this Queen of Pentacles now? Let's do the Queen of Pentacles. A Knight of Swords. Okay, you want some action to happen here. You want to make sure things start moving. The Knight of Swords is um, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Look at this. And we have the horse. Cherry energy. Things moving quickly here. So the Knight of Swords. Okay, now let's clarify the Six of Cups. Why is the Six of Cups here? Okay, waiting here. Trying to see what's going to happen. I think you're giving this person some time. And because you want justice to come here, here's Libra energy. You want things to be fair. You want things to work out here. You also might be looking at a contract. It could be a marriage contract. Some kind of legality here. Okay, now, how do they feel about you? How do they feel about you? Whoa. Okay, they want it. They want some action going on here, too. Okay, they're doing a lot of thinking. I think this person's been um, really doing a lot of soul searching, trying to heal something within themselves, trying to find some kind of light here, some, some kind of way of making this work. There was some kind of deceit, deception. Um, I'm getting corruption, too, for someone here. Um, Virgo energy with the hermit. But the five of swords, maybe you walked away or someone walked away from this connection because something was wrong something was not exactly right so now they're feeling they want to come towards you again five has changed too so i think this outside of your connection that something's going on now okay we have the knight of cups scorpio cancer pisces they want to offer you their love and we have here what is this oh this is a little rabbit holding a um almost feel like big thing of lettuce or something here so they want to offer you something they want to offer you something substantial here let's get the knight of cups 
All right. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Now we have the Knight of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Let me get this over here. They want, yeah, they definitely want to come towards you. They got a lot of passion, a lot of love for you. Okay. And you're one of a kind. You're a snowflake. You're so, and you're also so complicated. So different. So sparkly. Okay, let's clarify this. They want to come in and talk to you about this. I'm talking about how different you are to other people. I think they want you to know that that's how they feel. Okay, now for this Five of Swords, we have the Knight of Cups again. Wow, we got four here. We have the Ten of Wands, Judgment, and the Eight of Pentacles. This person is trying to fix whatever this happened here. That you, I think you walked away, but it could be, you know, it's a general reading, so it could be some... Some of it could be you walked away, and some other people could be that they walked away. But we have them wanting to come in here again, really um, wanting to offer their love here. This has been a burden on them, and there's been some kind of judgment that I think they feel was not fair. And it could have something to do with work, or working together, or people working against you, or it could be in the workplace here. Because we do have the work card here. So let me put this on here, and I want to do the this other... Knight of Cups. Monkey. Some of them are monkey around, fooling around. Throwing a monkey wrench in <laughs> what we hear in here. That someone, uh, yeah, someone deliberately tried to sabotage this connection. I think it worked. Okay. Oh, what am I doing, Queen? I don't want a Queen. I want the Knight of Cups. Okay. Now let's clarify this other Knight of Cups. A lot of love here, though. Okay. Yeah, someone was left out in the cold, or someone felt like, I don't know, that they, I feel like someone felt like they had no option or something, they had to leave. And there's like being stuck in the head, this is for this Knight of Wands, figuring out how to come towards you. They really want to make an effort to come towards you, but they're not sure how to do it. And yeah, something happened here, they might surprise you. This tower is Aries Scorpio energy, so this could either be someone's going to surprise you, or something shocking is happening now in their life. That's throwing them for a loop here. Or they might be shocking other people. Okay, now let's go over to your side. Give myself some room here. i got a lot of cards that are going on the table in this spread, so I want to make sure I have room. Okay, so how do you see them? How do you see them? Oh, you got a lot of love for this person. Your cup is overflowing with love. And there was a painful ending here. And you're looking and hoping that something could come back together. This is someone looking back at the past and looking back. Maybe there's a distance between you guys with the globe in this person's hand. But they're holding on to the past energy. Not the not something new, but the past energy. Which is how you might see them holding on to something here. But there's a lot of love. And also a death card here. So with the death card... Scorpio energy, ending, new beginning, transformation. Who wants to stick out here? And temperance, trying to balance things out. And then the strength here is underneath here. So um, temperance, Sagittarius, strength, Leo. Having the strength to do this. Okay, so now let's clarify. This Ace of Cups. Why is the Ace of Cups here? The strength card, see? There's, there's a strong love here. Um... You see them as having a strong love for you and being a very strong person um, and capable of anything. You know, it's like, it could be a Leo here, too, that you're dealing with. What about this um, Ten of Swords? Yeah, this was a tower. This is in reverse, too. This was a shock, but maybe, I don't know, maybe someone did expect it, too, because we do have the tower in reverse. But this ending was somewhat of a shock, but also expected too, if that makes sense. Aries Scorpio energy. What about um? What about this two of wands? Yeah, you see them as feeling really, really down. But I'm, I'm getting. I just <laughs> the energy just feels so heavy. I feel like you see them as really being upset and. Mourning this loss, mourning this, but not seeing the possibility of something happening for the Two of Cups. They're not seeing the Two of Cups for some reason. Queen of Swords. Now, with this Queen of Swords, 
feels like someone else. It doesn't feel like your energy. It doesn't feel like their energy. This feels like someone else is coming in between you or started something or I don't like the energy. Uh, this could be Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. It doesn't have to be any sign. But the energy of this card is someone is trying to keep you guys apart here. I'm feeling. Okay. So now, how they see you. A lot of passion. Undecided about what to do, though. This is a burden. They have... They see you as someone that they really want to be with. They have a lot of passion for it. But um, they might also see you as not being able to make up your mind about some mean stuff because there's a lot of burdens. You might have a lot that you have to uh, um, attend to. Look at that. Five of Cups. You're both having the same feeling about each other, about both being... This has... There's a lot of that was lost here. And not sure if you guys can bring this back together for whatever reason it is. Because a lot has been said. Maybe you you guys said, you both said stuff you regret now. Or there's there's a lot of regret, a lot of remorse for what happened here. Okay. Now. Why do we have the Ace of Wands here? But they do see you with a lot of, person with a lot of passion, a lot of desire. Look, and finding your way. They see you looking for something, trying to search for something, trying to search for answers. Also trying to heal something. I feel like, they see you as trying to heal something within your um, your life here. Looking for answers, looking for healing. The Virgo energy, this is um this is also the teacher, the student, the healer. But someone that um, goes within and and figures things out. Now, there is an undecided energy here with this two of swords, but maybe not seeing something or maybe not wanting to see something here. Okay. Ah, we do have the Knight of Swords. Hmm. Okay. So I know they want to take action towards you, but they might see that maybe there's a glimpse of hope. I don't know where they're seeing this from, but because it felt like the energy felt different. But they might say, okay, there might be a chance here. Maybe they, they heard something or something got... Yes, they, had, they heard something. Look, we have the strainer. They're going through everything that they hear. They're everything any possibility that there could be a chance to come together they're looking for it a little grain of hope they're looking for it okay let's see the knight of swords okay now what about this ten of wands yes you know i think they also see you no matter how hard things get there is always some kind of happiness. There's always some kind of sunshine. It's like even in the darkest hours, you have ability of trying to turn things around, trying to see the positive in something. And here's here's a path here, two different options. So you might they might see that you have a couple different options. Besides them, it might be someone else. And maybe that, that's a little concerning for them. Okay, so now, lessons you're learning. What are the lessons you're learning? Okay. Let's see. What are the lessons you're learning? Wow. Okay, we have the Knight of Swords, the Knight of Wands, and in between... We have the Hierophant here, Taurus energy. So this is Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. It doesn't have to be, but that's a representative of that sign. And then Leo, um, Aries, Sagittarius. Moving away. Okay, you're learning to move away from things. And also, take action. Yeah, you know, why do I feel like someone's just actually fighting the government? Or, or you're learning to fight something here. Fight tradition or... Um, yeah, I, I think that you're learning, you might be, you might be dealing with some kind, you're learning to deal with an institution, a corporation, uh, something here. And taking things in your own hands and, and taking, this, the Knight of Swords is like, a failure is not an option with Knight of Swords. And the Knight of Wands, it goes by its passion. So you might be taking up a cause because of something here. I don't know how this is relating, but that's what my guys are telling me right now, that you're, 
learning how to fight for a cause that you believe in. You're very strong about that. And five is um, change. So let's get a, something on this Knight of Swords. Oh, yeah. See? Destiny, divine timing. Also taking the wheel here. Taking charge. Let's see. Knight of Swords. And now let's do a charm for the Knight of Wands. We have a little elephant here with a heart upside down. A lot of memories here. Strong memories. Okay. Now let's clarify. Why do we have the Knight of Swords here? Why is the Knight of Swords here? The wheel. Yes. Divine timing. De you know, it's kind of funny how we got the wheel for the charm and then we got the wheel for the card. So there's a very strong energy here that you're feeling that you're I think you're going with the flow here understanding that destiny is I think you you trust in destiny you're trusting your future you're trusting that things are going to change in your favor here because you're also taking action you're not just sitting back but you're taking the action and then you're waiting for the results if that makes sense okay now um the hierophant here justice yeah you believe in justice is gonna prevail here because you're doing the right things as long as you do the right things the right things come back to you again i'm getting this contract i feel like there's a contract coming this could be a commitment here maybe you're learning also that, see you're moving away from rough twice we have this card move away from what does not serve you to something better you're definitely movement here you're learning how to take action have this movement have this energy here that moves you on and it might be helping you to get into a commitment with this person if you want it. This is the emperor here. This is really you um, learning to be in your power. Take charge of things here. Don't let other people persuade you. You might, I think you might be taking on the government or taking on somebody here. Feels like a real strong energy of you, you know, doing the right thing and expecting the right, you know, to get the right results. And what we think about, we bring about. So you're going to get whatever you want there. All right, so now, what are they learning? I feel like it sort of threw me off the path with you guys, but that's what's coming out. I'm going to tell you what they tell me. Okay, so what are they learning? Queen of Pentacles. Seven of Wands. Ooh. Okay. Wow, we have the King of Pentacles. I think they're feeling that there's a very strong, stable connection with you two. Um, of course, Capricorn is an earth sign. So, king and queen of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You could be dealing with another earth sign. But they, um, they're they learning that you guys have a very similar values and the way you feel about things. And there's like a focus on your material wealth here. And you might both be focusing on this at this time. And you're willing to fight for a cause here. This is someone fighting for a cause for um, things to be equal. You got justice here, and you have the six of pentacles here. You're trying to make sure that it's even give and take here. Let's see. Let's get a charm on this queen of pentacles. We have a leaf. Turn on new leaf, starting growth here. Okay, queen of pentacles. Okay, let's clarify this queen of pentacles. Ooh. And also, this person is learning how to fight for a really strong fight. You both feel like you have this very strong energy now to fight for something. Maybe because of this. This is not the same Queen of Swords as the one that came in between you. This is this person's energy saying, you know what? Two can play at that game. I'm going to fight this too. So I think this person, this other person pushed too hard. Yeah, there's a lot of love here. They want to fight for this connection. They're realizing things, they're opening up to more things, and they're going to speak their truth, and they're not going to back down. They're going to be very firm, whoever this is causing trouble with you guys. Okay, now, why do we have a seven of wands? Yeah, they want, the, victory is the only option here, is what I'm feeling with this person. They're already above the rest, they already have the upper hand, so they're working on this, and they, they're determined to get this victory. And now, what about the six of pentacles 
you know, they're going to uncover what's hidden here. There's been secrets. There's been things going on. And they're looking for this victory. They're looking to uncover it. And um, I'm seeing this as your energy coming in here with the Queen of Cups. They're doing this be because of the love for you. And um, this is Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. But I'm feeling like this person is feeling this, um, this drive being driven because of their love for you. That their love for you is helping them. That they learned a lot by watching you and, and loving you. Okay, now, your hidden desires... Your hidden desire is to move on from feeling sorry for yourself, feeling this lost here, and taking control because now you feel more powerful now than before. And you say, you know, I don't have, we don't have to stay in this five of cups. Five of cups, you know, five again changes. So moving away from this energy here and actually finally seeing the two of cups and picking up one of those cups to offer to this person here. Okay, let's see. The Knight of, oh, sorry, the Knight of Pentacles. Oh, yeah. Vice, they, they're definitely traveling. You want to travel towards this person or you want to travel with this person? Here's two people on a bike. So maybe go out together. But maybe you're doing some traveling. But waiting for the right time. Waiting for seeing things in new perspective here. Let's see. And then we have, yeah, you need to balance things out and you're working on that. We're going to balance things out and bring in peace to the situation. This can work. And now you're feeling it now. It could work. Before it was like, whoa, I don't know what's going on. But now it feels like it could work here. Whoa. Okay, look at that. Yeah, to balance things out. That's what came flying out for this five of cups. Having things uh, even give and take. Now what about this um, knight of pentacles? Yes, the two of cups. A very strong connection here. The Empress coming into your full your full Empress energy. Libra Taurus energy here. This is you can do this. You're gonna achieve this because you're seeing things differently. You're you're getting a better handle on how to work for, with things. This is a very creative energy. This also is uh, could be finding out about pregnancy. Now this is your hidden desire is maybe you wanna have a child with this person. That might be something. Or it's giving birth to a new relationship, a new business, a new career. Something you're giving birth to that you've been um, thinking about and you want it with this person. Very strong. And then we have here temperance. Yes, again, temperance here twice. Look at this. Your hidden desire, more than anything else, I would say here, you want peace. Temperance is peace. Sagittarius too. Okay. Now... Let me just move these over a little bit so we can see your sign here. I'm covering up your sign. Okay, <clears throat> now, what are their hidden desires? Wow, yeah, they're definitely looking to find a solution here. <clears throat> they're <laughs> they are also going within. They might be withdrawing from other people and being very defensive if someone tries to um, persuade them not to pursue you because <clears throat> they want to pursue you. They're looking on the past. They're holding on this globe. This is like, hey, I'm getting from this person. Their energy is first they're holding the lantern, right? They're holding the things. They're holding on to trying to find out information, solution. You are their happy. You are their star. Then they're also being very defensive. They're holding on to one. They'll beat anybody off that tries to stop them. And they're looking at this world and they're holding on to the past. They're saying, you are my world. You are what I want. Queen of Wands, they're very attracted to you. Um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. They have a very strong connection and attraction to you. <clears throat> okay, now, why is the... They want to talk to you because my throat is starting to act up. Um, why is the hermit here? Yeah, they want to celebrate. They want to ask you out. They're trying to find a way to do this. So you guys could out, go out and have a good time. And this is love. They're protecting this connection. The lovers here. Gemini energy. A very strong, passionate connection for you. And they are going to protect this at all costs here. Okay. And what about this two of wands? Yes. A commitment. They want a commitment. 
also could see you guys making a lot of money together. Maybe you, you do the same thing or you, you work well together. Or you maybe you have worked together. Here's the Eight of Wands. Things are going to take off. Things are going to happen quickly here. They're going to communicate with you. They're planning on it. Okay, so now your conscious desires. What are your conscious desires? Okay, so we have here, you're holding on to this connection really tight. This is a burden, but you are planning on a commitment. Your conscious desire is to have this commitment. You are also trying to find out information. You're digging deep. You're trying to find out what's going on with this person and how you can make this work. Here's a very, here we have the Scotty dog. So this is loyalty, friendship. Also, um, getting assistance somehow here. Get the... But we also have this as the spike. Do I? Where's my, um... Oh, it's a page. No wonder. Page of Swords. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini with the Page of Swords. Yeah, so we also have a spy guy. So this is the card. Someone probably watching social media or trying to try out, find out information here. <clears throat> okay. Let's see. Why do we have the Ten of Wands here? Ah, see? You are becoming the magician here. Now, for me, the magician is Aries and Aquarius energy. You have all the tools you want to get out of this um, predicament here about whatever's going on here. And so your conscious desire is to manifest what you want here. And you can do it. What about this Ten of Pentacles? Yeah, there's going to be communication. Things are moving quickly. Once everything um, clears, and once you guys get into your power, which you're just about there... Then we have things are going to start working because you feel like you're almost on the same path at the same time. Um, at least you're not waiting for the other one to catch up. We have this. Yeah, so coming in here, we have the star. So Aquarius energy. This is your hopes, your dreams, your wishes come true. You're going to achieve this. You're, you're going to find out how to do that. And here's a victory card. Yes. You're holding on to this. You're not letting it go. You're manifesting it. And there's going to be a victory for you. No doubt about it. Okay, so now... Their conscious desires. What are their conscious desires, Capricorn? Let's see. Okay, they're waiting for the right timing. And then they'll charge ahead. And they want to work on this. This is their conscious desire. So they're waiting. And they've been very patient because they want this Ten of Cups with you. They see you as their wish fulfillment, their happiness. And we have the Chariot card here. That's cancer energy, Pisces energy for the hangman. But they're willing to put in it whatever work it takes to do this. They're very, oh, they're all charged up here. Okay, what about this um, hangman? Walking away from whatever does not serve them, whoever does not serve them, whatever does not work in their favor to be with you. They're going to leave it. Whether it's a job, whether it's a home, whether it's relationships, they're, they're walking on. They're looking at things totally different. They're understanding more. But what about this chariot? You are their queen of wands here. They're very attracted to you, and they're coming in to get you. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And we have here, okay, we have the deer, innocence. Hearing things, listening. This person is being very in tune to everything that's going on. They're listening to everything everyone's saying, and they're watching. They're watching people, because there's people they don't trust. And now they, they realize that, because they see a new perspective here. Okay, what about this eight of pentacles? Whoa, they're going to shock everybody. They're, this is the tower that they're planning because they see things differently. They realize what's going on here. They're, they opened their eyes to what was going on behind you, your back, their back. There's stuff going on, and they're aware of it now. So they're, gonna, they're planning a tower. They're planning a shocking surprise. It also might shock you the way they um, show up. It's, this tower could also be at work because this is a work card. Okay, so now... Okay, now, what binds you to? Let me just move these over. What binds you to? You're both undecided on what to do here. You feel like you don't have all the information. You both want this independence of others, of all these other options and all these other choices. You actually want to walk away from all this confusion that's going on here. 
and we have the lovers you both feel the same way you have a deep love for each other okay so now let's clarify why is the two of swords here knight of cups i think you're both trying to decide maybe who should come towards the other or how to how to approach the other with the the cup here let me get a charm on this knight of cups we have here yeah they might there might be talk someone might be hearing things so maybe the talk is not valid so there might be gossip or talk going around so you both want to talk to each other to find out if this talk is true or not or if it's just people starting trouble here okay now what about this nine of pentacles yeah you're, you both want to heal this there's a three of swords that you're trying to heal with the ace of swords with the with the sword of truth justice truth there's a third party situation that you both want to um heal here probably take you also might want to take a vacation or take some time together alone holiday vacation what about the seven of cups the higher event. yeah because you know you really don't want other options you i feel like this whoever i'm tapping into there's a strong connection here you guys want commitment you both feel the same way you don't want these other options you don't it's like all these other options don't matter because they don't feel this the connection that you feel with each other that's why i'm feeling for someone oh here's another tower something shocking is going to happen here okay it's some kind of surprise okay now after the tower comes the star so that's good current challenges what are the current challenges trying to get this victory trying to get things to work because of all these other people involved trying to yeah there's some kind of very um deceiving manipulated energy that is trying to prevent you guys from having this victory and being together it's trying there's people trying to keep you apart and here it is coming into your power here you know you both feeling like you got to take control of this situation okay now let's see why is this six of wands here the knight of swords yeah this is like the the challenge is to try to come in here and just you know do what you have to do here it's been a challenge because there's people trying to stop you so uh but you're going to do it because you're determined here we have the my little pony <laughs> you might come in gentle but you're going to be very forceful at the same time so it might be almost feels like it's um you're coming in as not really paying attention i'm getting here but your your plan is to overthrow this energy here but take them by surprise with that tower showing up there now let's see the knight of swords did i use all my knight of swords i guess i did huh wow so you have a very strong okay so we so instead of the knight of swords we're going to put the i'll put the queen here just so i have a marker and we have here the page of swords and so yeah this is um watching and trying to find out information you guys are both like going undercover with this so let's see let's clarify this um five of wands here let's find the five of wands here yeah you guys are going to work together on this it's a challenge but you're going to overcome these people that are trying to prevent you from being together and what about the seven of swords you're putting an end to this you're putting an end to this energy here ten of swords and you're still not seeing how to do things but i almost feel like you're both in the same place both on the same page but almost like okay we're gonna fight we're gonna fight we're gonna pull up our swords and fight with our blindfolds on we don't care <laughs> i don't know if that makes any sense but that's the energy i'm feeling okay now advice queen of wands Queen of Pentacles. <clears throat> hmm. Wheel of Fortune. This is destined. Okay. So, the Queen of Wands, Queen of Pentacles, the advice is to show your passion and your desire and do it in a very nurturing way. Um, there is options coming in. There is, there, I feel like this um, Four of Cups 
is you're getting help from spirit here. Let me get a charm on this Queen of Wands. We have over oh, the wreath. You're gonna have victory here. We got the wreath. Might be at Christmas time too, because it is a, like looks like a Christmas wreath here. So let's do the Queen of Wands. Did I use all the Queen of Wands? I guess so. Okay, I'm going to put a page in. All right. And now, the Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Uh, this is also focus on your work. Focus on building something here. Focus on your material. It almost feels like focus on things around you. I'm almost, why am I getting like a, a barrier? To show me like a barrier. Focus on building this barrier from these other people don't come in. Okay. Let me get a charm here. And yeah, you're going to trans. This is transformation. You're going to transform this. And let's see now. Let's clarify. Why do we have the Queen of Wands here for the advice? Why do we have. And also your psychic energy. You're tapping to that. Okay, Five of Cups. Hmm. Five of Cups for the Queen of Wands. You have to look behind you and see those two cups. Know that this is possible no matter what people... Look, justice is coming in with this Queen of Pentacles here. You're going to be able to do it. You might feel a little defeated, but justice will come in. And what about this Four of Cups? We have the Five of Pentacles. So, um, believe that spirit is going to help you pull you out of this energy here. And we have the Eight of Swords. Someone's really stuck in their head, but this is all going to work out. Um, okay, you know what? This feels like I need a couple cards on this advice. Please give me more on this advice. You might not, they might not be, they might be confusing this energy because you're not meant to know right now. But I'm going to throw a couple more cards on this whole advice thing. I'll put three cards down and see what happens. Please give me more clarification on this advice. It feels a little confusing. Let's see. We definitely have changes, though. Page of Cups. Emperor, Emperor again. Wow. And two wands. So your advice might be to be like the Page of Cup. Be innocent, loving, but also underneath it all is this Emperor. So I'm feeling like you... I think the enemy, you have to let, not let them know that you're planning a form of attack or, or defense here. And there's going to be a couple options. You're going to see things in a different perspective again. And so are they. Pisces energy. Wow. Okay. Definitely seeing things in different, but, you know, trust that things are going to work out. Yeah, I think for some reason, you're not meant to know. Almost feels like you maybe you're not meant to know, so you don't let the cat out of the bag. But the universe is helping. I feel this strong energy of the universe helping you. Okay, let's see. Oh my God, look at all these people over here. Okay, let's see if we can. I'm gonna spread them out, just so I can put the words down. Okay, first Queen of Wands. What's going with this Queen of Wands? Return. Regret money okay someone's returning money or regret something about money let's see here or they might regret that return money to someone let's get me a, a clarifier on this money we have oh it has something to do with money with the house so someone might have returned money from a house they regret it or they're gonna return money from what they took from a house because they regret taking it Okay, it might resonate with you, might not. What about this Queen of Wands? Let's see, we have here Intruder. Sincere lying. Okay, Intruder was sincerely lying. Okay, might make sense to you guys. What about the Queen of Pentacles? I got four on this one. We need to spread these out. Okay. Oh, we have money again. So something heavy with the money. Feelings. The end. Eventually. Or maybe someone eventually has... Eventually might have an end to the feelings about money. About the money. Oh. Okay, let me see what the money thing is. 
Okay, get one on the money. We have Oh, the bank. What is going on here? There's money from the bank. Okay. That might make sense to you guys. It's not gonna be for everyone. Okay, so now what about the Knight of Swords? Well, we have a tower. Aries Scorpio energy. And we have confused soulmates. Someone might be shocked to find out that they feel like they that you guys are soulmates. Okay, and they're confused by it. What about this Knight of Cups? We have Obsess, Marry, Friends. Maybe someone's obsessed with their marry friends. Or someone is obsessed about marrying a friend or friends. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Go over here. Spread these out a little bit now. Okay. What about this Knight of Cups? Married. Jealousy. Oh. So someone's going to call someone and they're jealous about them being married or they're Something about marriage. Someone's jealous in the marriage. Okay, what about this other Knight of Cups? Look at all these Knight of Cups. Wow. <laughs> we have third party. Realize. Okay. Someone realized something important about third party. Or may they realize there was a third party. They didn't realize that someone was coming in between you guys. Okay, what about the Knight of Wands? Caring. Okay, there's always drama, and someone cares about that. That there's always drama. That's like they can't get away from this drama. Okay, what about this Knight of Swords? We have a lot of knights. It seems like there's a lot of like ready to fight. Which that is that whole energy I, I was getting for what you guys both learned how to fight for something. Hidden fear. TikTok. Okay, someone's running out of time. There's some kind of hidden fear about something happening here. Okay, now what about this Knight of Swords? All the Knights are out to fight. <laughs> Career. Present. Ooh, Tower. Okay, something's suddenly going to happen. Some change, some shock in the present, in someone's present career. Okay. Now what about the Knight of Wands? Love, finish, later. Okay, someone's going to finish something with love later. What about the Knight of Pentacles? We have present, family, karma. Ooh. Okay, someone's, karma, someone's family is in the present getting their karma. Now we have the Queen of Swords. Past. Talk. Forget. Okay, so, so someone might be saying forget about the past talk. I feel like you both said something that you wish you didn't say. So maybe you're both saying let's forget what we said. That was like in a, you know, a moment of passion and it really wasn't what they really, you really felt maybe. Let's see, Queen of Pentacles. We have options together okay someone's thinking about how you guys can be together there's options of how to be together okay now queen of swords closure expect closure single um, oh my my god, this is like saying you're getting married. Expect closure on being single. No more single. <laughs> okay, what about the Queen of Wands? Got two here. The X. Honest. Okay, the X is being honest. Okay, what about the Page of Swords? Got two again. Revealed. Oh, there's a there's gonna be a su surprise revealed. Ooh, well you definitely have a lot of surprises coming up with these towers. And then this page of wands we have very soon. Desire. Confess. Oh, very soon someone's gonna confess their desire. Ooh, and now the last one we have here 
is this um, Queen of Pe Pentacles. Okay, we have Sincere, Mary, Will You? Ooh, very sincere. Someone's proposing. Look at those words. Sincere, Will You Marry? I never got that before. Oh my gosh. Someone's getting married. Someone wants to get married. All right, guys. Look at that. I like this reading for you. Okay, so now let's see what signs we have. What are the signs? I know these readings are long, but there's a lot of information. Okay, let's see. What are the signs for Capricorn? We have Capricorn. Wow. Look at that. And then we have Cancer. Cancer. Ooh, strong Cancer. Well, we did have the chariot come up a how many times, right? Okay. Pisces. Taurus and Aquarius. Okay, so this could be placement in your chart, placement at other people's chart, past, present, and future. So we have, oh, I'm dropping everything. I don't want to drop everything on the board. Hang on a second. Okay, Capricorn, Cancer, Cancer, Pisces, Taurus, and Aquarius. Now we'll do the letters. 11 letters for initials. First name, last name. If you get both the first and last name and someone has a middle name, you know the middle name, get that initial also, all the better. Past, present, future, also your own. We have J, L, V, J, V, well, that's interesting, D, S, O, P, L, L. Wow, look at all those L's. All right, guys. So the letters we have for you today are J L V J V D S O P L L. Okay, now let's see what names we have. Eleven or more names. What names want to come out? Let's see. I think I have enough. Oops, knocking things over here. We have Diane, Sandra. Latifa, L-A-T-I-F-A-H, Janine, J-E-N-E-E-N, -E -E Hayden, Gayathiri, G-A-Y-A-T-H-I-R-I, -I, Enzo, E-N-Z-O, Julie, Gloria, Melissa, and Terrell, T-E-R-R-E-L-L. -L. So we have, oh, I love it when we have exactly 11. There's 11 there. Okay, guys, and remember, these are general readings. They're not personal readings. Please just take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Maybe the cards will resonate, maybe they won't. Maybe the words will resonate, maybe they won't. And also, don't don't forget to move around to make more sense um, in another combination. Okay, so if it does not resonate, you know, check in your other placements. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. And if it does resonate, if you want even more in-depth reading, you can check your other signs and even get more information, which will really blow your mind. Okay, guys. Um, I love you so much. I really appreciate all your likes, shares, subscribes, comments. I hope to see you all again real soon. Thank you so much.